Greetings everyone, your local Shannon Gamer back in Universe Sandbox 2. How are you today? Um, we're back again. This should be up hopefully on Monday again, there thereabouts. But uh, hopefully you had a good weekend and have a good week lined up as well. Um, but listen, we're looking down here on Mars. Uh, Phobos and Deimos are flying around there as well. But uh, the last time we messed around in Universe Sandbox 2, we were looking at uh, extracting the water from Earth and all that jazz. But today, why don't we transplant that water from Earth to Mars in this instance? So uh, check out that last video. Um, it'll be linked in the description box, I'm sure. Um, I got a lot of the information from some good websites. Again, they're all linked in the description there. But with that, um, I was able to approximate within the game's limits um, some objects. So. Um, if we go into uh, user stuff, um, we've all water, so that's swamps, rivers, uh, oceans, lakes, everything. Uh, there's also uh, two and three here for you know taking out swamps and, and rivers and stuff like that. But uh, that's pretty much what we're talking about as regards as regards to. Um, actually, you know what? I might just put it being still. I want to have this kind of just gently, gently caress. Because there's going to be impact damage here for sure anyway. Um, oof. That's all the wor the, the Earth's water there just straddling um, Mars, which is actually quite nice. Uh, let's just knock this onto studio. Hmm. Very fancy. So. What will Mars look like? Um, number one, we're much further from the sun. Number two, much thinner atmosphere as well. So we're probably going to see a lot of freezing. Um, but there'll be an initial impact as well. But, you know, it's just, just a little bit of a curious, curious thing here. Um, let's rewind this down to, like, a bit slower. And we have impact already. Uh, don't fail me now, machine. <laughs> so this isn't approximate real time. This is uh, 16 minutes. You can see the transference of water already. Uh, the way the game approximates it anyway. You have this ice sheet just forming across the entire surface of Mars already. just consuming it. This is the most gentlest impact that I could uh, create here. Uh, now we could have went in and just transferred that water through uh, manipulating the, the makeup of the planet, but this is more fun. This is more visually awesome. Goodbye water. Yes, as you can see I was using the Earth's model. Boom. Okay. All the water has been transplanted. Well, mo most of it. Um, some of it will have burned up. And we have our fantastic trench. Olympus Mons around here somewhere. Um, can we... Just for the giggles of it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah, surface temperature. Because of the impact. Okay. Do you still have the impact showing there? Yes, indeed. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit here. I said that thin atmosphere. Oh, well, look, see here. <laughs> we have waterfied Mars. <laughs> It looks quite nice, you know, it's it's not going to last, but uh, as you can see here, our lovely trench is just filled with water there now. Oh, there's Olympus Mons up here. 
And who knows, maybe long, long ago. Mars was like something like this, but it's just the core of it's far too cold. You know, it doesn't have, you know, um, ah, magnetosphere strong enough to uh, fend off the solar radiation and cosmic rays. The atmosphere is just too thin. Um, it's a shame, really. It's going to be very tough to colonize Mars for sure. A lot of that stuff is just kind of burning off. And I say burning off, it's just being kind of ripped from the planet. You can see that water is just eking away there. But, uh, ah, listen, humanity is going to give it a jolly good go when it comes to setting up a, a, a permanent human residence on the Mars. And I celebrate those fantastically brave people that venture on that path. Bye bye, water. So long! The game did a good job on the model, didn't it? There's still some pockets of water up there. Slowly disappearing though. Don't go! Don't go water! Stay! Ah, it's just disappearing. Unfortunately. Interesting way the simulation handled it though. But uh, I have a job for you folks this week. Um, I have a little bit of time in the evenings, and um, I want to I want to do some of your videos um, as uh, more more than normal. So let me know in the comments below what kind of what if scenarios. What would you like to see in Universe Sandbox Two or in another game? Uh, I'm currently having some issues accessing GTA Five at the moment, so I do apologize about that. And some of the other games are going to be returning as well. But uh, let's say, you know, if we were picking just Universe Sandbox 2, what would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, as always, thanks for your support. Thanks for checking out the video. What the hell are those things? Anyway, I'm getting distracted here. As always, thanks for your support. Have a great rest of the day. And uh, come say hi over on the social medias. And, uh, you know, in... Uh oh, that was a nice little transition there, Phobos. Again, I am getting distracted. I am literally like the dog in up that's not a bad thing anyway uh what was i saying social media is yeah again support the channel by liking sharing subscribing and you can check me out over on patreon as well i've been your local shenanigan gamer and i will see you fine beautiful people in the next video so take it easy and goodbye <laughs>